want to start the stream. Very sure. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I actually thought I wouldn't make it here tonight, but by a happy accident of completely and utterly forgetting to set my clock forward, or well, actually it's backwards this time of year, an hour for daylight savings time, I actually made it on the air tonight. So now, now I get to play. Behold the story of Weights in Mountains. We'll see exactly what kind of trouble I can get into today. I am in Somerset after all. Penelope was having a blast in Cyrodiil. Hunting sky shards, finding a nice cool dude that's also a dragon knight to help defend a fortress with. Unfortunately, we got ganged up upon by three uh, Ebonheart Pact members, and we had no backup unless we pressed the S key. <laughs> This is the story of Waits in Mountains. She was sniping in Somerset one day, who found and found a glorious piece of venison and a bunch of cultists in her way. <laughs> Remembered, I have this cauldron. I can get blasted, and I don't feel like looking like a skeleton. So I'm just gonna go on Something's through. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic, vile magic. Yep. I sense a whole it's bunch of people is that who are being alive over there. See if you caged can alive. Thank you for setting me free. You do realize, Valsrian, that you could probably unlock the cage too. Ooh, you just died and a scavenger is eating your corpse. I'm going to kill the scavenger. That way, if a coroner comes down here, they can get you the proper burial. I wonder, does the city have coroners? It has a divine prosecution. One would think it would have coroners. Or maybe this isn't that kind of a town. People are just expected not to murder people. A Daedra. Yep. An ex. That scoffin. I'll explain everything later. For now, is one of Clavicus Vile's little toadies. I could have sat on that chair, but I didn't want to. Congratulations on looting the entire room. More newcomers? Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. Oh, wow, I found some maps. Your turn will come. I'm gonna see if there's more treasure over here. Nope, just a bunch of broken crap. I 
thought that one said bread claw. I thought that scoffin called himself a bread claw. That would be truly hilarious. This one time I was kneading bread back in the uh, lodge. And I got bread on my claws. It was not easy to clean off. Behold! Ideal poison damage. I am a poisonous dragon. I could probably use a trip to Cyrodiil, where I may get many, 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 many skill points just for doing the PvP quests and the daily quests. Come on, because right now, I am outside. skill point starved. You could just as easily call me starves for skill points as you could weights in mountains. But I prefer you called me Weights in Mountains, thank you. After all, I did sort of give myself that name. Not directly, but with how I act. That is how we are named. Children in the Argonian cultures and to a certain extent, Khajiit cultures, I have read about this in a book, are given names at birth, or hatching, in my case. And then, as they Those. get older, and they start to grow up and show I. what their personalities are, and show how they behave, they earn their second name. Vosrien, you, my good fellow adventurer, will wait as I loot every potential source of loot I can find. noticed that although I am bedecked with leather and armor, it may be useful to me to obtain the skill that roots enemies. We dragon knights have such a skill, and that will be the only magic skill I have, I think. Or it may not, I cannot tell. That way, when this one shows up and dies at my feet, I will be able to root him before he has done that. Never reach me. Or if it does survive long enough to reach me, I will use my venomous claws to take it down, and it'll be softer, softer target. You see, when I was back in the Dark Brotherhood areas, Things never saw me coming. That's part of the work of a shadow scale, is to never be seen in the first place. It made it much easier to avoid being damaged when people never saw you in the first place. I thought it would be much more challenging to start attacking things that saw me coming. That's why I chose to become an adventurer. Hey. 
what part of I blocked that did we miss? So not fair. Even the J, it does not realize that daylight savings time has entered into effect for the area in which I live. Either that, or the server which I am currently playing on, is an hour ahead of me. Now behold, as weights in mountains, loots in catacombs. Get walking downstairs, just go this way. I do not have to do that whole thing where you go the long way around and get hit by everything. That can be so tedious. I suppose that's my old shadow scale habits showing through. Hello. Roxy is in your closet. Oh, you Living on Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. Then perhaps you should Let install the, the gym on the Isle of Arteum. And I'll catch up with you later. Oh, a cat. I like those. Sacred animal of the allies, Nords and Dark Elves. I like them a lot. Let me There's see something. how much this pack merchant costs. Too much. I already bought a pack merchant -y upgrade. It's a very useful purchase. That 10 more spaces means that I don't have to wait. Oh, where is the Eye of the Queen? Conveniently located, directly next to a vendor. Or, in general proximity to a vendor. It matters not. The point is, I will be selling things happily to get them cleared out of my bag. I don't need any weapons to equip. I... We'll be equipping these bracers, I think. Yeah. Oh, it appears that these bracers are better than the other bracers. I do not... Oh. I could learn the sour flower tea. I do not want to learn any of the other patterns. Since Weights in Mountains is a part of you the know, guild, some of my best friends are yours. She can sell. I can sell. Sell, sell, sell. Abandon ship. And no, the Hindenburg does not ring any bells. Say goodbye to the Maple Bow. Wow, an enchanted piece of jewelry with no value. Makes me glad I got rid of it.
There we go. Now my inventory is clean. He's upstairs. Ah, this one's new partner returns. What interesting scandal did you uncover in the monastery? Tell Raz every juicy detail. Oh, you mean like Daedric fuel murders and rituals? That isn't the kind of scandal Raz was hoping for. Murder, Daedric rituals, and traitorous behavior have a way of ruining an otherwise perfect day. We need to learn the extent of the Kin Lady's involvement. And by we, Raz means you. Hmm, that sounds like a dangerous accusation. Not exactly. Raz wants you to talk to her, see what she knows about the Oldar. The Kin Lady is meeting with local leaders. Attend that meeting and learn the truth. This invitation and set of elegant clothes will get you through the door. Oh, well, thank you. A Sijik? Raz has heard rumors, but there are always rumors about the Sijiks. For an island of sages who disappeared more than 300 years ago, they certainly seem to get around. <laughs> Did this Sijik mage say what the Order was investigating? There was a life-sucking burrow. <laughs> you should probably have led with that bit of information. Well, we can worry about the Sijic Mage and figure out where these pearls came from later. For now, go see what the Kin Lady has to say. Shouldn't you go talk to her? Kin Lady Avenis and Raz do not get along. You see, there was a horse, a platter of pudding tarts, and the... No, no, no. This one won't bore you with the sordid details. Besides, Everyone behaves well when they see Raz. You will learn more than I would. Fair enough. Okay, button. I have no skills to spend, but I can turn this into Dragon Leap. And I can turn a uh, stone fist into obsidian shield. Mm. Racist brat, from what I can hear. Into the den I go to put on a good show. Is a wardrobe, not a bookshelf. Yes, yes. And who might you be? Someone who wants to talk. The to kin King lady King is Albany. currently engaged. She's holding a conference with Shimmering's elite to discuss certain political matters. Oh, I have an invitation. Hmm. Back. Yes. So you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please head into the garden. Thank you very much. I kind of don't envy you having to work for her. We all have concerns regarding the Queen's decree. I assure you that I am working with all Dark Takala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerine and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. Oh. How bold of you. The Nebarad dares to stand in my holy presence. <laughs> Very well, bold Nebarad. What can the new Old Dark of Shimmering do for you? And please, 
Try not to bore me or spray any spittle on my spotless vestments. Oh, really? You heard that somewhere, did you? <laughs> I'll have to have a discussion with the Divine Prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, you're no, no, not I joking guess. about that. The Kin Lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. Oh, really? So is that why you're imprisoning them? You really are well informed about things here in Shimmerin, aren't you? For a Nebera. And you keep calling me a Nebera, huh? You're right. Where are my manners? Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. It means unwelcome. As in, you are not welcome here. Oh, really? And I suppose it's common for High Elf monks to conspire with Daedra. That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's observation log. For your own protection, you understand. Oh, really? Well, I was done talking I suddenly to remembered anyway. some business I need to deal with as well. Feel free to pester the other guests in my absence. First, the Kin Lady invites us to discuss the situation in Shimmeri. Then, she tells us to sit here and wait. And now, a damn Nebara is standing close enough for me to smell it. Well, Nebara, speak up, or is talking not part of your repertoire? What do you think she's planning? Everyone knows what the Kin Lady thinks of the Queen's decree. I suppose she plans to oppose the new policy. Keep more Nebara from reaching our shores, somehow. I just hope she doesn't do anything that ruins our expanded trade agreements. How do you feel about it? That's a loaded question, Nebara. Look, <laughs> I get as nervous as a pigeon in a griffin eyrie just thinking about having a lizard living right next door. But I can't argue with the Queen's success. The expanded trade agreements have been a scar. Oh, really? And what's your take on the word, Nebara? Well, I suppose that's our word for the newcomers. I guess you could say it's impolite, but... Old habits can be hard to break. No offense. Look, I don't have an issue with the newcomers. Some of my best workers weren't born on the island. Then you might need an attitude adjustment. Oh, you. Another newcomer. Ink has barely dried on the Queen's decree, and there are already more of you than I can count. I look forward to hearing how the Kin Lady and New Order plan to protect Somerset's interests. Sounds like you're a race brat, too. Does it? Perhaps. The newcomers are different. They understand neither Altma society nor the rules of protocol and etiquette. Makes my job as an officer of the Divine Prosecution more difficult. I just no, hope it just changes from really one of uh, kicking buttocks to educating people that just got here and don't know all the silly, dumb rules yet. The Divine Prosecution serves as Somerset's premier law keepers. We enforce secular and religious law, making sure that all social and cultural rules are adhered to. The fact that you didn't know that proves the Old Ark's concerns are justified. Or it proves that you guys need a better way to educate newcomers. Well, don't really know the new Old Ark all that. Wait a moment. I don't know who you are, and I'm not sure I like the tenor of your questions. Perhaps you should move along before I forget this is a social gathering and that I'm not on duty? Why on earth would I want to do that? Most of you are silent. She is an a interesting... A newcomer, here in the Kin Lady's garden, and during her latest rant on the dangers of the Queen's decree? Oh, that's just grand. I really can't wait to see her expression when she finally notices your presence. You seem to be taking it all rather lightly. Am I? Some probably see it that way. What do I care? I'm the Canon Reeve of Shimmerine. Kin Lady Avenis may outrank me, but I'm the one who keeps the city's bureaucracy functioning smoothly. It's what I do. What were we talking about again? Do you know what she actually plans to do about it? Complain, most likely. My cousin excels at that. I assume she may have something else worked out with the new old Ark, but she has yet to bring me into her confidence on the matter. Frankly, I assume that's why we were here. 
And for those of you who don't know what a cannon I'm a reeve, cannon is. reeve, my dear. I thought we established that. It's an official title, given to diplomats and bureaucrats who administer to county seats. A gift from my cousin Avenis, I suppose. In your land, I'd probably be called the mayor. That sounds like an about the right title. Unfortunately, none of these other guests are very talkative. I could probably get more information off of them. But for now, it's time for me to Turned into my bark. home without so much as a bio leaf. No, I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out before I call the guards. But not before I tell you that you're consorting with Daedra. <laughs> Such innocence. You really <coughs> want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's an you're not trying to protect us, us. you're just trying to protect you and your purest ideals of what you are. All Every Tarkala race highly that I have encountered has does that to some protecting extent. Shimmerine. Grand plans. Hell, even my race does In my that. haste to deal with the Queen's decree, I may have made an error in judgment. <laughs> I'll say an error in judgment. You're murdering people in Daedric rituals, for heaven's would. sake. <laughs> but my Chancellor has been unable to verify the Old Duck's existence prior to when we met. And I recommended him for the position at the monastery. I assure you, Kinlord Millenthal prays Tilkala to no end. Well, then it sounds like Kinlord Millenthal is a Daedric conspirator. That's preposterous. Who murders. Aldak Tilkala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, they'll be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. Yeah, wherever they came from is not where you think it is, lady. My lady, one of the monks had to deliver this message. It's from the old Ark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the old Ark's explanation. Here I go to wreck the day. I shall go to Dungeon Day. Or maybe not. Not yet, anyways. I did say my main purpose here was to meet the Citrix and get into the Isle of Arteum. That's about close to happening. I am a woman on a mission. Pretend you are adjusting your boot or admiring the architecture. As hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Good, good. Now, tell Raz what you learned at the Keen Lady's Manor. She believes the newcomers are being sequestered and shipped hmm. back. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. This new old dark dog has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. From what I could discover, he didn't exist before he came to Shimari. He gonna be here? The Coral Forest. Forest. Hmm. A strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the old Ark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again later. Ah, you have a pretty admirer, my friend. The Sijic Sage, yes. Here she comes now. I'll go talk to her. Valsrian, hello. You. While watching the King Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak out the back and leave the city. The King yep, Lady is meeting the, the old Ark in the Coral Forest. Raz smells something, and it isn't moon sugar biscuits. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you, I, the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sijic Order, and I agree that the Aldark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes. Mm -hmm. 
But let's travel separately to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest. Okay. Off I go to wreck the day to make the nasty go away. Aggressive ones come out to play. Soon find themselves upon a tray. Run with me into the fray. And watch some arrows I shall spray. They fixed the bug that allowed you to sprint indefinitely on your mount. Such a sad thing to do, in my opinion. It was very nice being able to hold the shift key down, letting it up when you actually no longer needed to sprint, but now they've made it so that your horse returns to its normal speed, or whatever mount you're riding, when it runs out of stamina. I suppose that means that people actually have a reason to buy stamina skill now, other than to get the really pretty barding that you get when you have that skill fully upgraded. Crab is threatening me. See how it's holding its claw up? That's cute. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldar asked King Lady Avenice to meet him out here. Based on what so we saw we in the monastery's Undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. I understand he's good at this sort of thing. As I reckon, he is. He is extremely observant. And I've only been around him for like a few minutes. And I am already impressed by the level of observantness that he has displayed. Bewitched sugar skulls. You know nothing of the plan, you fool. Let me give you a taste of what the Prince of Bargains has in store for this pitiful world. Your prince, I want no part of this. Come, Nebara. Let me show you the power bestowed of Yagra. Destroy this. You are too late, and you are going to die. Fall to the earth as I pick up your plunder skull. Delicious plunder skull. Had many wonderful things in it. <laughs> that coral crab is threatening the man with the dog. Razumgar I think that's such a cute lady. little flavor the text of the coral crab forest. threatening you. What happened to Aldoc Tilkarar? Did he escape? Nope, I killed I him. He's working with Klavikar. Tilkarar wasn't actually an Aldoc. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Klavikar's vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully, the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. What do you You'd hope be to learn from the what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Reichmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. 
If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. I'd love to. Who's right master the right master Cases? leads the Sigic Order from Kakora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. That sounds really nifty. I'll go the check in with Rosalgar. There. You are now a child. Well, thank you. Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. Of course. Ah, Five Claw. The King Lady and Raz had the most illuminating conversation. Hmm, that Queen sounds Aren fun. Queen be disappointed that the King Lady of Shimmerine allowed a false Alda to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? I would say so. The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This uh, one has a were. very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sigic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. Oh, she went back to Arteum and has invited the Sigic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Udaha. This one has never had much love of magic or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. An eye of Raz, if you will, yes? Yes, I will. Then you must go to Arthea and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Raz likes this plan. In the meantime, Raz will investigate the Daedric connection. That sounds like a good idea, Raz. Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. No, I'm gonna ask you how you met I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. So you knew he planned to kill the newcomers? What a hateful accusation. Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word. I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. Do all of them worship Daedra? I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the divine prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerin. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the Proxy Queen. That's probably a good idea. Looks like... I am headed... to a way shrine. Delightful way shrine. And I'm about to discover, oh, a garden of sacred numbers. And ride through a bunch of bandits. Oh, I finally hit level 10. Oh, wow, that's a griffin. Um, once I hit this house here be able to level up, spend some skill points and all that. Boom! My race's skills. Resistance to disease is a great one. Oh yes. The Fighter's Guild, oops, that's the wrong one, and the Mage's Guild. That's a good one. And now it's off to Arteum I go. 
through the keep of eleven forces, to which I have been freshly attuned. I have managed not to agitate a griffin, I think. I don't know. I rode past and did not stop in time to know. And my horse has run out of stamina. Wrong time to do that, buddy. Wrong time to do that. The good news is you grow it back fast. Tavern. Active Traders. That's an interesting name for a guild. <gasps> Yay! I have a skill point! There we go. Now I can leap on top of people. Turn Mountain. My abilities last for longer. Weights in Mountains. Ooh, and I have enough ultimate to use that ability for the first time ever. And such is the beauty of the island of Arteum. That is sometimes bespeckled. By portals of loot. Loot bearing portals. And it contains a crafting station. And, as always, a way shrine. I shall wait in the mountain. And a merchant who always tells you it is apparently an unusual practication for a psychic mage to have a shop. But I could not care less. I'm just glad she is here. For who else would buy all of my crap? <laughs> and there was no sign. When I don't want to leave. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the pearl while I speak to our new guest. All right. I don't want to be rude, so I'll go talk to Right Master Icasius. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Yeah, we discovered that the Somerset newcomers were being murdered to power the pearls. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal? 
Silthasil, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Oh, so can I do anything Indeed. else to help? But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started yes. immediately, unless you want to explore our island first. Okay. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. Well, that sounds like a great idea. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. Oh, that sounds cool. While I head cool. inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. Very well, I'll go do that. But first, I'm going to talk to uh, Kelaris, Lore Master Kelaris. Friend of Valseren. Hello, I have sir. A tranquil greetings, Caraval. You will forgive me if I seem awkward. We rarely entertain guests here on our tale. I am Kellaris. Right, Master Ikesis told me a great deal about you. I suspect he has plans for you within the Sigic Order. You're offering me a place? Do I even qualify? The Right Master holds you in high regard. That is proof enough of your worthiness. The Sigic Order requires practical wisdom, outside perspective. Unless I miss my guess, you can provide both. You would be a worthy addition to our ranks. Thank you. What shall I do? Eager to begin? Good. Eagerness is just what we need. Your first lesson begins now. The Order has detected a number of irregularities on Tamria. Small breaches in the fabric of time. I would like you to seal them for me. Okay. How do I do that? The first cluster of time breaches appeared on the Isle of Somerset. You should start there. Go speak with mm -hmm. my apprentice, Josaja, in the Athenaeum. She will provide the tools you need. A map, Sigic seals, and the Augur of the Obscure. Okay, so what does it take to become a Sigic? A noble heart and a solemn commitment to the good. Achieving membership in the Sigic Order is a serious and lasting endeavor. You must be prudent, but fearless, withdrawn, but compassionate. It is not something to be taken lightly. Sounds like a lot of dichotomies that Too are difficult to master. The truth is that we have grown old, Caraval. A mixed blessing, I suppose. Long years of seclusion have allowed us to study and learn, but always at the cost of our relationship with the outside world. We need youth, vigor. And what are the benefits? As your knowledge of the old ways grows, so too will the rewards. For instance, we are prepared to teach you new and powerful spells. As in all things, the best teacher is experience. This matter of the time breaches will act as your exam. All right, any words of wisdom before I Only this. Out? Purge yourself of selfish intent. Membership in the Sigic mm -hmm. Order will bring you both prestige and power. But such honors often lead to Wagnithir, the bad change. Interesting. What you do in the Order's name, you do for others, never yourself. Fair enough. The so map will show you the approximate me. location of each time breach. I apologize. Our visions, while powerful, are not always specific. Make your way to each X on the map. Then use the Augur of the Obscure to discover the anomaly's exact location. And how exactly does These it work? These time breaches are not visible to mortal eyes. The Augur, however, perceives time and space very differently. 
Gazing through it will allow you to peer through the veil, to see things both visible and invisible. Things like these breaches. And once I find the breach, I use the seal to close it. Precisely. Think of them like bandages, I suppose, or tourniquets. The chrononymics they contain will stabilize the rifts and harden the walls of time around them, rendering the breaches harmless. They are quite easy to use, I promise. Well, that sounds like a good promise I to serve me. as the chief law master here on Arteum, a grand title for a modest pursuit, truth be told. I protect and maintain our various libraries and archives, safeguard the details of our order's history, that sort of thing. How many libraries and archives do you have here? 863 at last count. Not including the right master's <laughs> personal collection, of course. Uh, don't <laughs> trouble yourself looking for them. Many of them exist in quasi-planes and hermetic mind spheres. It helps keep things tidy. So you think maintaining 863 libraries is modest? Comparatively, yes. Many of my peers spend their days examining the nature of reconstituted souls and studying etada dream residue. Still, I love my work. It also affords me the opportunity to spend time with our initiates. Oh, so you're a teacher. Of sorts. I educate students on the importance of compassion, discipline, objectivity, and the like. Our order's chief virtues. It can be very rewarding provided the students take such lessons to heart. I'm confident you will be such a student. Well, thank you. I need to go through that chute that is behind you. Ah, oh, look at the architecture. There's Josaja. Hello. Yes, uh, can I yes, uh, can I can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah, Kalara sent me to take the Sigic Seals and the Otter of right. the Obscure. You're the Order's new initiate. I didn't expect you so soon. Things here on Arteum are normally, you know, snailish. I transcribed <laughs> Arthur's visions onto the map there and collected these Sigic Seals. The Augur, however. Do you have I it? don't. Please don't tell the lore master. It tricked me into dismissing the binding charms that keep it here, in the Athenaeum. Then it popped <laughs> like a bubble and vanished. It escaped before, but never on my watch. <laughs> Where'd he go? I just scried its location. It looks like it reappeared somewhere on the shores of Waston Coraldale. It didn't take long for some sea elves to scoop it up and squirrel it away. You'll have to steal it back. I am sorry, truly. You don't apologize. It sounds like this thing's I'm really you'll sneaky. You'll definitely need the auger on your quest. Without it, you'll never find those time breaches. I'm gonna ask you about the Sigic Seals. The Seals are one of the Order's oldest tools. They act as a sort of anchor. Shoring up any wayward spirits or forces in a given place. When Nern was still young, the veil was much looser, more unpredictable, you know? So the Aldmer made these. Is there a trick to them? None at all. We've been refining them for thousands of years, remember? Just take one in your hand when you reach a tear, and the seal will do the rest. So it's an automatic kind of seal. And what about the auger of the obscure? The lore master didn't tell you? All right. Oh, how to explain it? The auger is a skull. Sort of. It's really a crystalline entity that resembles a skull. Some think it's from the head of an ancient mage, but I don't believe that for a minute. And why not? It's hard to say. Once you have a few conversations with it, you'll see what I mean. Wait, it talks? Yes. Incessantly. I think that's why Lore Master Kellerus made me its caretaker. No one else wants to listen to it. You should know that it lies constantly, unless you ask it a direct question. If you do that, it's compelled to always tell the truth. The 
That's a valuable piece of information. It will. Stirring up the auger's power will give you a second sight. The skull sees time differently. Well, it sees practically everything differently, but time most of all. I think it's fascinating. I just wish the little bugger wasn't so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> and on that inspiringly hilarious note, I am going to say good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me.